What is up, Utah fans? This is Joseph back with the Utah Utes Football Digest. And another commitment comes through for Utah. This is the second in just a short span of days, maybe four or five days here. Super exciting stuff, guys. Wyatt Becker comes through last week. And then early this week on this Tuesday night, we get Zacharias Williams. This is just the beginning of what should be an awesome coming recruiting weeks and months for the Utah Utes. But let's talk about Zacharias Williams. Six foot three, 195 pounds, big, physical, tough receiver. Super excited to have this guy on the team. He looks pretty awesome. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to check him out on his 24-7 profile. We're going to check out his tape. We're going to break him down. We're going to talk about the film. And then overall, we're just going to talk about what we think of him as a player. So make sure you guys stick around for that. If you haven't already, smash that like button if you're excited for Zacharias Williams. It'll also help get this video out to some more Utah fans. And please comment down below, what do you think of Zacharias Williams? But more than anything, uh, what do you think of what's going on with recruiting right now, with the buzz? What, how are you guys feeling right now? If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We put out a ton of Utah Utes football content, especially if you're, you're into recruiting. I'd say that's kind of the specialty. It's not, we do a lot of other stuff, but we definitely get pretty nerdy about Utah recruiting and share the video with a friend, uh, you know, helps get it out to more Utah fans. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's talk about Zacharias Williams. All right, guys. And here he is, Zacharias Williams out of Junipero Serra High School in Gardena, California, class of 2024, which means we will have him next year on this Utah squad, you know, pretty decently rated three star. Three stars can get, uh, you know, he's, he's creeping up into that 90 range, which is when you become a four star. So this guy is a pretty sought after player. Uh, number 792 nationally, number 104 as a wide receiver. So almost the top 100 wide receiver uh, and, and looks like a good player. We're gonna watch the film in a minute, but first let's check out these offers, guys. This was not a guy that wasn't, you know, wasn't, sought after by quite a few schools so you got uh ucla here utah Waz wazoo arizona and arizona is a high flying passing attack that means we're competing with them to get this guy you know you got louisville washington another big time passing attack notre dame notre dame didn't have an offer but he, they were interested so but all these other schools offered him and he's definitely looking like a good player i would say these offer lists should give you an idea <clears throat> just to go back here real quick, um, he's listed here at 6'2", 195, uh, but I'm guessing that's probably from a year or so ago and, you know, a high school kid. He's probably at 6'3", now based on what he says in his profile. You know, people do tend to exaggerate height. I'm 5'9 and 3 quarters, but I tell people I'm 5'10", uh, but is what it is. So I'm guessing he's probably 6'3". I mean, it's in his profile. Uh, it says 6'2 here, but who really cares? All right, let's go ahead and let's dive in. Let's watch the tape. Let's check this kid out. All right, guys, and here we go. These are his senior season highlights. He also has a junior highlight tape you can check out if you guys want it. I did watch that before this, and I do think you see some improvement, some big improvement from junior to senior year. His junior tape is very impressive, but his senior tape definitely takes it up another notch. <clears throat> I'm excited to watch this with you guys, uh, but let's check him out here. A, a couple things you're going to notice, like I mentioned earlier, a big physical guy, six foot three, 195, and he uses his body effectively. He's tough after the catch. He goes up and gets the ball in contested catches really well and uh, takes pride in being a playmaker. Uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's dive in. Let's check him out. All right, here we go. Zacharias Williams, and here's him as a returner. Check him out. He's got the, you know, the vision, the breakaway speed here. Takes it, boom, cuts it through the hole. Seriously, look at that vision, guys. This is not as easy as it looks. On a kick return, things get messy, finds a hole, boom, just goes blasting through it and takes this one to the house for a touchdown. Pretty awesome there. And, and like I said, when you're in that mess and in, in the middle of it all, it's not as easy as it looks. Okay. You got him right here at the bottom of your screen. They throw one up for him. Boom. And check this out, guys. For a guy as big and physical as he is, 
look how good he does it fading away from the corner, right? Pretty fast too. It, it like he's he's getting separation on these guys. Okay. Right here, bottom of your screen again. Boom. They throw one up to him. Just takes it. And you guys look at him like look at this. He catches the ball and and just keeps going. He's a guy that is looking to make plays once the ball is in his hand. Patient and sudden right here. Boom. Gets off the press. Again, burns the guy up the sideline. Like this is this is a nice little dual threat we got here in Zacharias. Because look at this. So not only does he burn the guy, but when the guy goes to tackle him after he gets burned, the tackle slides like right off because this guy is a big physical receiver and is going to be tough to bring down for any, you know, undersized corner. Okay, this is a pretty big looking corner he's going against. Red zone target, boom. Look at that, dude. Look at that route running. Look at the separation he gets here. Boom. Let's check one more time. Nice, dude. <clears throat> All right, top of your screen here, lined up against the corner and drops back. Dude, I, I love how he high points the ball too. I know it's a small thing, but but it really does get you, get you excited. Okay, this play, I want to point something out, okay? So nice catch there, but check this play out. So right out the gate, the guy's right up on him, right? This isn't about him creating separation on this play. He goes up, boom. Look at the trust that this quarterback has in him. He knows that he's going to run the perfect route. He's going to turn around right at the front of the end zone and make the grab. Look at this, guys. You think this happens without hundreds and hundreds of reps? Look at that. Thousands of reps. Probably look at that connection between the two of them. That's a good sign that his quarterback trusts him that much, but also that uh, that they he puts in that type of work to develop that type of chemistry. All right, here he is on returns again. Boom, takes one. Boom, just books it up the sideline here. You know, he's a long strider, so the speed doesn't look as impressive as it is. He he is pretty dang fast. Oh, damn, did that guy just fall over? What happened here? <laughs> that was weird. All right, bottom of your screen, one-on-one, -on -one, goes fades to the outside. Boom, speed to separate. I think you guys are kind of getting the hang of things. Let's watch one more here, top of your screen. All right, goes up, slant, deep slant, boom, or post or whatever that was. That's kind of what we're looking at, guys. He's a big physical receiver that has some speed, wants to make plays, right? Is not happy with 15 yards and getting tackled. He is looking to break a tackle or make a play and go from 20 to 50 yards. So super exciting player here. All right, guys. And that was Zacharias Williams. I really enjoyed the tape. Big physical guy that has a ton of athleticism. Looks like a pretty polished receiver as well. Looks like a guy that doesn't need a crazy amount of coaching. There's areas to improve, but it does look like he understands, especially like fading away from the corner on deep routes. Like I feel like that's where he gets a lot of his separation. It's not, it, He's fast, but it's not like this crazy speed. It's his knowledge of how to play receiver at a high level where he can just kind of fade off the corner as he's running and it makes it look like he's burning the guy more than he is, but he's just he's just controlling the route and separating from the corner just by fading to the sideline. Really, honestly, guys, I love it. I love his ability, like his size, his ability to break tackles after the catch. There was quite a few clips there where he's catching the ball and the corner's falling off him when he tries to tackle him after the catch. And a lot of that's his mindset to take it to the house. So if you guys are excited about him, please smash that like button. Uh, help get this video out to more Utah fans. Also comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts on him, but I also want to hear your thoughts on what is going on with recruiting for Utah football. It feels like things are popping off. We'll have Zacharias on this team next year. If you want to go the extra mile, I'd love to even hear uh, where you think he plays a role next year. Do you think he needs a year or two to develop? Do you think he could be uh, getting worked into this offense right away? I'd love to hear it. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we put out a ton of Utah Utes football content, especially if you're into recruiting stuff. We're always on top of that. And share the video with a friend uh, that loves Utah football as well. Uh, you know, love to grow the channel. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, make sure you guys 
Uh, shout out Zach Rice Williams and uh, go Utes.